everybody welcome back it's Saturday and I'm not crashed in bed yay yay me yay me usually I have to crash on Friday Saturday I don't know I crashed yesterday I spent most of the day in bed because my back hurts my back hurts like so bad it hurts to breathe I'm there remember the greenhouse that I built go back a video or two and you could see the greenhouse watch the video and see all the stretching that I did and all the oh I'm gonna set you into my windowsill that works and I don't have to hold you well then I'm brilliant okay do you remember if you go back and watch the video that I did doing the greenhouse, I did a lot of stretching. You'll see me stretching and moving and probably doing things that I shouldn't have that after I made that video, I ended up spending the rest of the day in bed. Well, my back really hurts now. I mean, it really hurts. I have a rod in my spine that looks like I laid on a pitchfork. If you see an x-ray of it or an MRI, it's like it's it's like behind in, in my back like from here to here back there and in my back and then you see my neck I got scars here I've had two neck fusions too yay me don't know what happened to my back I have a little bit of scoliosis and then I was a bus driver for 20 years and if you watch watch me door you're driving the bus okay and then the door you reach and you grab and you open which, ugh, that even hurts. I'm glad I'm not a bus driver anymore. I'm retired. So that, that movement right there, you kind of bend in the middle when you go. Don't want to do that. So I think between that and my scoliosis, that did a number on me. Yay me. So I like to do things. I try to do everything that I possibly can around here. If not, my husband will do it. And you know what? my battery is flashing so i'm gonna go charge my battery and then i'll be back all right well the battery is dead so i switched to my phone so hopefully i don't know i don't know but i'm just doing a saturday just to kind of hanging out saturday at my house my husband's outside our four-wheeler is not working right now it won't start so he's trying to figure that out hopefully we don't have to take it in because We've, listen, I hurt so bad I can't breathe. Because the last time we took it in for a problem, it was like $1,400. So he's going to try to fix it himself. Hopefully he can get that running. I don't know. But I'm going to try to make a video today. I've been, maybe two. I don't know. It all depends on if I end up in bed again. Which that, I might be doing that. I don't know. I get the grandkids on Tuesday. So I... I want to be feeling better by Tuesday, and if I just sit around and rest for like days, it might feel better. My dog is down here. Say hi. My dog is a Labradoodle, and normally she has a lot longer hair than this, but I shave her often because she sheds. I don't enjoy cleaning up hair off the floor every hour of the day. You might get another haircut usually this is really long and every oh oh funny story my dog now oh now we're gonna play my dog okay I'm gonna talk about you for a minute so you have to calm down my dog okay I have a video of her with one of her toys in it she has this talking ball that we had to take away from her because we just had to well Say hi. Say hi to the folks. I have a video with her playing with that ball. Yep, I do. And every time I play the video and she hears that ball, she goes to the TV and she just goes nuts because it's the ball. She hears the ball. Right? Oh, geez. My couch just moved. Oh. All right. Let's get up. Let's get up now. I'm going to be shaving this dog soon, but I can't do it now because my back hurts too bad. Now the dog thinks we need to play. Update on my greenhouse rack. 
look at I was doing laundry today and looking all over for that well there it is there it is but my husband you know got the lights hanging I'm gonna go buy hooks for here for the shower curtain and I think we'll be in business I might order two more lights though but I think we'll be in business somebody was asking well not asking I was telling somebody about my glass top stove and my stove cover here is my stove cover I have a glass top stove and this if you don't have time to clean it cover it up isn't that cute now I can set things on here too that gives me a little more counter space because my husband and I downsized about two well, maybe two years ago it's almost oh well a year and a half ago we had a bigger house but I needed laundry on the first floor so I have laundry right off my kitchen now and I needed not to have so much space to clean I just needed smaller space because I with my back and fibromyalgia and everything else it just makes it too hard I couldn't do steps with laundry so my husband was ended up doing laundry more than probably he wanted to in that house we did have a big old wood burner I do kind of miss that I like the fire part of it I love the heat part of it I hate the mess part of it because those are really dirty I'm not gonna put my dishes away yet I just threw them in there you guys ever do that just throw them in there it's like silverware who likes putting silverware away at time not me not me and my kids always used to do that and they always used to go in the fork hole in the spoon hole there's times that I just throw them in there because you know what we're just gonna use them again so just throw them in there let me show you my dishes who remembers courier knives that's upside down hold on there we were shopping, my husband and I, and um, that, so there are the real courier knives there. I've got a lot of these. My husband and I were shopping one day, and how many was in that set? How many dishes? Do you remember? My husband just came in. Do you remember? My camera battery died, so we're doing... I'm thinking of Look how tall. Around. Look how tall he is. I'm thinking of something like 36 or 38 pieces. There were more than that. Because there was... No, that was like 300 It was $36 we paid yeah. for uh, over 200 pieces. I know there was over 200 pieces. And, and I'll, five boxes. 80% 80 of them were actually the courier knives. And then there were some knockoffs in knock there. Knockoffs, yeah. A few knockoffs. But it had serving bowls and platters and just all of it all, all of it so i thought oh, i need this i really like them my grandma used to have them and then the guy that was running the register said you know what if i would have seen those you wouldn't have had those because he would have bought them you guys know that you have a trap in your dishwasher if your dishes aren't are getting like spots and stuff on well, not spots but food left behind in the dishwasher there's a there's a trap there's a trap on there. Hold on, I'm gonna turn you around. Way in there, like our dishwasher has this, that that round thing, that comes out, doesn't it? Yes. No? Yeah. Because well, yeah, our dishes that. are getting like, you can tell we have well water. Look at, there's where the, whatever that happens. Once in a while, I'll run uh, CLR in here by itself. And that, that helps. But you could take all that apart and clean it and that that helps with your dishes yeah they're I know they're loaded a mess but I really don't care so hopefully he just cleaned that all out and hopefully that will help look at my cat on my heating pad can you move please I'd like to sit down hmm can you move please all right go shoo come on oh, my husband can get her Come on, get off the heating pad. Oh, you like my heating pad. Come on, get off my heating pad. Ah. Oh. So yeah, no, nope, not ready to do that yet. All right, we're sitting, eating. The cat gave me my heating pad back under duress. No, not really, but I got my heating pad back. Lunch, we're having lunch, 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 lunch. on the couch. We don't normally ever sit at the table to eat. I usually have to eat 
in a comfortable spot or I usually have to lay down and eat because by the end of the day I'm shot so I usually eat dinner in bed but this is lunch and I'm able to sit up right now so should we tell them how we met which time <laughs> the first time a long time ago listen that was a long time ago back in the 80s Seven, late seven. Late it was 70s. late seventies. He was my first boyfriend. We were in like seventh grade, eighth grade, and I was his yeah. first girlfriend. So we went to the same school, met, dated for quite a while, maybe the whole year or so, and then and then he dumped me for another girl with hairy legs. She had hairy legs. <laughs> He's looking at me like, have you lost your mind? Yeah, but he dumped me. So life went on. We both, he went in the service. We both married other people and life went on. Well, I got divorced and he was getting divorced. Divorce. He was separated for quite a while. And I was on Facebook one day and I thought, oh, I'm going to friend him. So I did. And I got a response back almost immediately from you that... Actually, I was on Facebook Facebook very much longer, very, very much before that. No? I think it was that year. That you went on Facebook? <clears throat> it's a good thing for Facebook. So he messaged me back, and we talked for a couple, a night or two, and then he said, hey, can I call you? What's your number? And I'm like, oh, okay. And the next day he called me. And she wouldn't answer. And I didn't answer. I was staring at the phone going, oh my gosh, it's him. It's him. Oh, 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 it's him. And I didn't answer the call. <laughs> and he left me a voicemail and I called him right back. But then we she met. She screened her calls. I went, no, I was like excited. not. I'm like nervous and you know, <laughs> you know. So then we planned a date. Remember our date? Our first night? Our first kind of date? Bowling alley. We went, we met at the bowling alley because at the time my daughter's husband worked there. I knew my daughter was going to be there. So I called my daughter, my oldest daughter, and I said, are you going to be at the bowling alley that night? And she's like, yeah. So I told her what she was happening. <laughs> she's like, mom, what do you want me to be your wingman? Yeah, kind of, kind of. <laughs> so... He came to the bowling alley, and my daughter was there, and my granddaughter at the time, so it kind of broke the ice and made it a little bit easier, don't you think? Granddaughter fell in love with me all, right, right away. Yeah, forget it. All the grandkids just, it's G-Paw. It's always G-Paw. Forget G-Paw. They'll run right by me if he's here. Where's G-Paw? You know, so that's how we, and then eventually we got married. You, oh, you want to hear another funny story? Okay, this this story is really funny, all right? When we met, he's like, oh, where did you live? And I told him where I was living with my now-to-be ex-husband. And he's like, really? And I'm like, yeah. He said, the next-door neighbor, did you ever meet them? I'm like, yeah, they're really nice kids, you know. He's like, that's my ex-wife's son, and my ex-wife is now living there. <laughs> I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? His ex-wife moved in with that, his, her son about the time I was moving out. So I, ne I never met her there, but I'm surprised that I never saw him over there. You know, it, when I, I did get over there for their wedding. Did you see? I didn't even know that. You would probably, you would probably live with your parents at the time. That was just shortly, it was shortly, shortly after. It was probably after, because I don't remember that. But isn't that weird that his ex-wife and my ex-husband are now neighbors? <laughs> Maybe they'll hook up, I don't know. They deserve each other. Yeah, they deserve each other. There you go, that's a good one. All right, there's the story on how we met. Long, long time ago. Oh, and I have a picture. I'll put it in if I can find it. Of when we were younger, sl uh, sled, sled riding. riding. Packard Park, wasn't it? Yeah. In fact, you know what? It's hanging on my refrigerator. I'll go video that. Well, I got the camera now. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to show you this uh, picture of us from, uh, I want to say it was 77, 78, I want to say. 
when we met. This was us when we were probably, what, 13, 12, 13 or so. Here's a picture of the two of us. This was taken at um, Packer Packard Park, I believe it was, sled riding. A little different now, huh? Anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and come back for more. Thanks. Bye.